thing you probably want to do on a Saturday is go back to high school. But what if instead of walking to algebra class, you got to go shopping? Swap the backpacks for shopping bags and school lunches for something sweeter. Oh, I love it. And Old Taylor High is perfect for the jocks, preps, and everyone in between. It is kind of fitting to have all this board games, nerd stuff in in high school. It kind of feels right. The last time students filled these hallways was in 2001. I think that's the draw is that it's such a unique venue. The building went up for auction in 2016. We're a little crazy, so um, I actually went to my wife one day and I said, hey, do you want to buy a high school? We can, you know, we can do all this fun stuff with it. And she said, absolutely not. It's safe to say the idea flunked, but over time, we decided to move forward and it's just been, it's been great. Cliff Ole and his wife opened Old Taylor High in 2019. It's been a whirlwind. One tenant turned into 27 with eateries, an ice cream shop, and small businesses. I get people that used to go to this school come by and just point out like what used to be in this uh, in this classroom or such a classroom or, or and all the lure that, that there's ghosts and stuff. It's just really, really fun. This old English classroom won't quiz you on Shakespeare but maybe your pinball skills. Even in Georgetown, we have a whole bunch of places that are, you know, abandoned, and it's really cool to see a place like this being able to, you know, convert it to all these different little shops. Customers like Rory Tierney say they're here for some small town shopping. We just bought some blow molds from from this booth right here. We have a couple old blow molds at home, and we just wanted to add some more to the, the repertoire. This year, Old Taylor High celebrates 100 years. Its doors will stay open for students and shoppers alike. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Old Taylor High is open just about every day, but the next Christmas market day will be on Saturday, December 16th. In Taylor, Lauren Rangel, Fox 7 Austin News.